Let me let me try something real quick. Let me just just one second. Hello guys, welcome back. Hey, everybody likes lists. You like Watch Mojo? I like Watch Mojo still. So, uh, Let's do a list for this channel. People will be liking lists and top tens and stuff. Now the subject of this, you know, I can't really narrow it down, so it's just gonna be top ten things. It just pertains to me, but since I'm an arrogant mother, uh, it should pertain to everybody. No. Number ten. The amount of unread emails I have, it is quite amazing. Let's take a look. What's it at? What's it at? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty nice. You know, at a certain point, you know, a lot of people would be like, oh, it's getting overwhelming. I got to read them. No, at, at a certain point, you find Zen. Ready. And, you know, maybe even one day I would want to pass on this email to my grandchildren so then they could build the unread emails through generations and generations. And maybe we could hit the 100K mark, maybe 1 million unread mark. I'm aiming for the moon, baby. Number nine has to probably be my fart hands. How do I do this? Hey. The beat go off? Hey. It's been a unique talent that I've probably known about since middle school, and I'm not really even sure how I found out about it, but when I did... <laughs> oh my god. And I've yet to meet another person who could do it, except one person. Shout out to Abel. <laughs> Shout out to Abel Chavez. Maybe I could be somewhere else rather than making YouTube videos. Huh? <laughs> I could have been big. Could have been rich off this. So, uh. Na 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 boo boo. Stick your head in. Number eight. Sweet tea. Sweet tea is the nectar of the gods. I can't really put my finger on what exactly makes it so good. It could just be that they put just heaps of sugar in it. But specifically McDonald's sweet tea, that shit hits the spot. And I've had it so regularly now that it's pushed into the dangerously addictive state. So my life is kind of screwed from here. I'm going to be drinking sweet tea my whole life. I don't care what it does to me. May get cancer. Hmm. Whatever, sweet tea's good. Hands up, I'm guilty. <laughs> Number seven. My regret of not speaking Polish. That's... <sighs> this one, this one hurts, guys. This one really hurts. You know, I can't connect with my relatives. I can't talk in my native tongue. My blood means nothing. I'm just an American fucking scum. Number, number, number. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 kill streak combo of Harrier Strike, Chopper Gunner, and Nuke. Uh, yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Modern Warfare 2 is one of the best multiplayer games ever made. Um, and basically, these kill streaks were rewards that you get for consecutive kills over time. And this certain combination was a try hard, sweaty combo. 11 year old me was trying so hard to get every day in and out. I got a nuke 125 times. I mean, and I'm, I'm not bragging or anything, but... Uh, Maybe 145. I can't say I've experienced another high like that. I mean, this is probably uh, right up there with... Um, Heroin. And you get your Harry strike, air strikes come in. That thing's hovering up above. Yeah, that can you the way. 11 kills, you get Chopper Gunner. And oh my god, Chopper Gunner comes in and it was super broken. It just goes over their spawn and stuff, and then you just aim at these red squares and just <laughs> kill after kill after kill. You hit the 25 kills. You see it pop up. Hit the button. You hear this countdown. Get it. Play it. Play it for him. Dirty. 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 Number five. Fuck. The feeling of driving next to someone for a while on a road trip. So you're driving along. 
and no one could fathom going at your speed. That's the thing with me. I'm always going like 10, 15 over, so I'm speeding past anybody. But the <laughs> you find the man or woman who's going as fast as you, and you guys are just speed brothers till the end. We're talking going for an hour to two together, side by side. And there's something so poetic about it because, like I said, man or woman, you don't know. You don't know this person's race. You don't know their nationality. You don't know their gender. It's it's such a pure relationship. And the only thing that's connecting you is that road, baby. With the exception if they have a PT Cruiser uh, and a PT Cruiser with wood panels, then there's no connection from the start. They could honestly just go to hell because I ain't, I ain't driving with them for shit. One-handed straight into hell. Kobe. <laughs> Number four. You guys knew I was going to say this. Taco Bell. Uh, nothing really compares to Taco Bell. It's the, it's the greatest place on earth. I don't know why Disneyland, Disney World has that motto, but it should be Taco Bell because Taco Bell provides the most authentic Mexican food I've ever had. And I've been in love with it for most of my life, but it wasn't until one particular moment when they came out with the Crunchwrap Supremes. And I tell you what, both hands, Crunchwrap Supremes, let me do a demonstration. <laughs> 1 a.m., 2 a.m., hit it up. They got what I need. And always the nicest people. I've, You know what's funny is I've been there so often, but I don't know anybody's names. I feel like I should have, like, a <laughs> with the amount of times I go, I should have the experience to be like the closest friends with these people but you know deep down i think taco bell recognizes me for my service they know me like that they like me number three the interstellar soundtrack time space what does it all mean i don't really know but watch Interstellar because Interstellar has the best soundtrack out there. It really pulls the movie together, not only on top of it being filled with special effects, great themes, and just overall a great story and movie in general, but the soundtrack is what really pulls it together. The organs produced by Hans Zimmer. Uh, God bless you, Hans Zimmer. Uh, please have mercy on my soul. But it's one particular track in that whole movie that really got me on the edge of my seat i remember on i remember in the theater uh being literally on the edge of my seat it was the no time for caution scene and these organs start playing it just jumps in just building up tension just <laughs> let me set up the scene so you got uh mr car advertisement for lincoln guy who's trying to dock his spaceship with this spinning, uh, spinning like home station because uh, Matt Damon, Asteroid Boy, uh, blew that shit up. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you haven't seen the movie and you wanna see it, but that shit starts spinning. And then uh, Lincoln Boy is like, uh, we're gonna match up. We're gonna match up. So, the intensity builds because it's like, how? What the? How is he gonna do that? How is he gonna? How is he gonna do that? And so he just starts spinning. That music kicks up, and it's, oh, oh, it is one of the greatest scenes in cinema. my jump height again natural ability like the fart hands i discovered this probably a year or two ago um where i just started i don't know why but i just started jumping a lot and jumping everywhere i noticed that i had like a higher than average without training i'm pretty sure i could dunk with training uh quote me on that we're talking 37, 37 inch vertical leap bro i'm telling you when i get trained up and i dunk on these elementary bitches, number one. Band slip-ons!
Well, that was the video for today. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you thought. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you.